Hey guys, this is Corey with Funtown RV of Amarillo, and today we are going to look at one of the newest floor plans in the Cherokee Timberwolf series. This is the 2024 Cherokee Timberwolf Black Label Model 39 ALBL. This particular park model trailer is going to come in at 12,620 pounds as we see it here today and is going to be 45 feet in overall length. Now this is in the black label edition, so you get the optional fiberglass sidewalls and the frameless windows and a couple of other minor details, but this is not designed to tow and go and take it everywhere. This is designed to park on one spot until you need to move it to another spot where it's gonna live. So this is not something I would even consider towing even though a one-ton dually will pull it. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside. Okay guys, so I'm standing inside the front sliding glass patio door of the Cherokee 39 ALBL. And just check out how big, open, and spacious this trailer is. Now you've got all kinds of blue accent lights everywhere above your slide outs. As we get started in the living room, you have a uh, recliner chair here that, that's free floating. You'll have another one here, a ottoman, and this does have some storage in it, which is very handy. And then you have this big sectional sofa here or chase lounge. Now this will turn out into a trifold sleeper sofa, this section here as, that the video will show as it pops up. So you can sleep a couple more guests. Now, on all of your shades in your living room, this is really neat. So this button here, you've got power shades throughout your living room area. Now this couch and this free-floating recliner is directly across from your TV entertainment center with fireplace. And just check out all this window coverage over here. So you've got the sliding glass door, five or actually six windows over here. And all these are on motorized shades as well. If we look up top, I love these kind of simulated beams here. You are going to have two air conditioners. They're both 15K ACs. That's all that Cherokee does. You do have a ceiling fan there as well. All LED lights too. And here's a better look at that fireplace. Now in lieu of a traditional dinette, you have this massive bar. And I've got all of the um, chairs kind of put in travel mode because we just got this trailer, but you've got six bar stools that you can put out around this whole trailer, which or around this whole island, excuse me. And this is all solid surface countertops with kind of the waterfall style in floor ducted heating. This does have a propane furnace. Um, that's one of the things that these park models do is they do the in-floor ducted heating, unlike some of their tra you know normal travel trailers, just because they are so big. So real quick, let's go ahead now and we'll open up all this storage in the kitchen and take a look at that because I'm telling you, this has got a chef's dream of a kitchen. So starting off with the kitchen, you have some nice wine racks here. You have a massive residential style refrigerator. Uh, this is going to be a um, contour, which is similar to an Everchill. I believe it is a residential with the inverter, but it very well could be a 12 volt as well. Um, I would have to do a little more research on that to see if it is or not. Right here is going to be your massive pantry so you can see you have plenty of room 
for all of your dry goods, pots and pans, blenders, things of that sort. Um, that is really nice to see. You do have a larger oven with the two drawers down here. Uh, is this a three burner? Yeah, three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Hood range, microwave, and then some storage there. Neat little pendant lights, plus a very nice big window that you can look out as you're doing the dishes. Now this has what I call the transformer sink. So you've got your glass washer, cutting board, drying rack, and all kinds of different attachments here. Plus it's a nice big farm style sink too, which is really nice for some of those bigger residential pots and pans. Now underneath here, you are going to have a little bit of storage for some of your dish soaps and things. If we spin back around over here, you've got some good pots and pans storage with some more of your prep space. Plus you're gonna have household outlets right there. Three drawers, plus a spot for a waste basket. Some more uh, power outlets here, plus some good storage there. And then you've got great, I'm tripping over stuff, <laughs> great storage up here. You would definitely need a two-step stool to be able to get to that. Plus, you've got all your controls here, your battery monitor and your Bluetooth uh, stereo controls there as well. So that's going to wrap it up for the kitchen. Let's go ahead and we'll kind of work our way that way. And let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the loft up here. This is a massive loft space. If you have some kids, this would be a perfect spot for them to sleep. You've got household USB plugs, lots of windows, a handy little light switch for all the lights up here, TV hookups, a couple of mattresses, or you could just use this as extra storage too. So I really do like that. Plus, you do have the nice uh, safety railing here, so they're not gonna tumble off face first. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna give you one more quick look at the living and kitchen area here, and then we'll go take a look at the bathroom. So stepping into the bathroom, you have a nice pocket privacy door here. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. If we go ahead and take a seat on that, you can see that you've got all kinds of leg room, plenty of room over here on my left to that wall, plenty of room over here. This is a very, very good bathroom. You've got some linen cabinet space here. It's not the biggest, but it is better than nothing. Nice big fifth wheel sized shower. Now, if we take a step up into this and I flip the camera around, you can see I'm gonna pass this and I'm 6'1". Uh, if I was any taller, I might have to bend down just a little bit, but it is good space there. Try slide glass series door here. And then the only thing I'm gonna kind of be picky about is I'm taller than this. So I would kind of have to bend down just a little bit, but you do have the hand sprayer and some more body sprayers as well. Plus the little corner shelves right there. This does have the tankless on-demand water heater controls, GFI protected outlet, Porcelain sink, um, interesting with a plastic plug there, high rise faucet, and then you just have a mirror on the wall there, plus some more storage down here. Now, if we go into the master bedroom, let me turn on some lights. You have a king bed. If we start taking a look at some of your storage space here, You've got some good hanging, hanging closet space. I love that the rails run this way so you can fit more clothes in here. This is plumbing access. Plus you do have a little bit of storage space there. And then you've got more closet space here with plugs if you do want to do a stackable uh, washer dryer. But you already do get the combo washer dryer too, which is really neat. And then you're gonna have, I'll open up a couple of these, some good storage here. Good storage space there. You do have little corner shelves 
with some household and, or I'm sorry, just USB ports. Big windows in here as well. You've got three more drawers, plenty of spots for your shoes, press membrane thermal foil style countertops here. You do have another fireplace with a TV backer for a small TV here. Front window, AC and heat in here as well. And then you do have a little bit of storage right down there. Now, normally this is where I would show you what the, it looks like with the slide outs closed. But on a park model, you're not gonna be using this when you're traveling. This is something that you park at a destination and just you know drive there with everything you need for the weekend. So I don't think you're I don't think this is best used as, as a traveling rig. So we're going to skip that and go right to the outside. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this Cherokee Black Label Timberwolf Model 39 ALBL. So starting up here, you do have a manual tongue jack. Again, I'm not mad at this just because it's a park model, not a regular travel trailer. Two 30-pound propane tanks. You do have your battery right there. This is going to be access to your hydraulics. You do have not one, but two power awnings here, and they are huge and take up this whole side of this trailer. So they do have LED lights in them, but I love to see that. You do have the frameless windows, so that's gonna be a lot easier to uh, maintain your seals and such. Manual stabilizer jacks. Again, I'm not super mad at that because this is a park model. Now, you do have the foldable steps here for this main entry door or one of your entry doors here. You do have outside speakers, spot to bring a TV outside. Of course, this is a tandem axle. And as we keep on going here, you have the solid steps here, but you can, these are removable from the outside. So if you wanna build a deck here, you can easily, easily do that. Back up here, you do have a prep to, for the ladder to get up on top of the roof. 50 amp service. You are going to have your dumps right here for your kitchen, so that'll be a gray tank. You're prepped for the slide awning toppers. This will be access to some, some more connections. Then you've got your freshwater city water black tank flush, cable satellite, outside shower. You're also gonna have uh, some more dumps. Actually, that's probably your dumps right there. Nope, there it is. So dumps right there. And then you've got access to that underbed storage right there. So all right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2024 Cherokee Black Label model 39 ALBL. If you have any questions or would like pricing and availability, you can click the link in the video description. That'll take you to the Funtown RV website. You can also give us a call at 833-242-1194, or you can text us at 806-382-6274. That's my personal cell phone number. Or you can email me at corey.gable at funtownrv.com. All right, guys, we thank you very much for watching. Remember at Funtown RV, we have the best products, best selection, and best prices around. So we hope to see you at Funtown RV very soon. We'll talk to you again on the next one.